favorite early morning members of Spiritual Encrypted Encounters. How's everybody doing today? Or should I say this morning? Uh, I want to share a story with y'all. You know, I feel that I have to, to talk about this. Uh, and the reason I have to talk about this is because of how things work spiritually within the balance. You know, so I want to share this story with y'all. Something that happened that I witnessed when I was a kid, I probably was like around in third, fourth, fourth grade, you know, something I witnessed. It was summertime and during the summer, um, I like going to my cousin's house because they lived right across the swimming pool, the city swimming pool. So we go there, you know, uh, play with them and then we go swimming at the swimming pool. So it was one of those summers where we're walking towards our house and it was hot. When we got to their house, I went to something in the backyard. Uh, my cousins were in a little circle and they had something. You know, they had something and they were, they were seeing something. They had them in, had it in their hands. So I wanted, I was trying to see what they had. So as I was looking from a distance of what they had, it's like all of a sudden, uh, my cousins started acting strange, started screaming, started talking like a different diet, different language. And all of them were acting weird. One of them, started running around acting crazy with a shovel uh, like he was an acting himself he started digging holes in the ground he dug like seven or eight holes in the ground he went to go grab he went to go grab kittens and he pushed like seven kittens in each hole and covered them up and their head was sticking out. Then the other ones that was that were there, the, uh, my other cousins, they were acting strange. Like I said, that wasn't themselves. So I was trying to figure out what was going on. My cousin went to go grab the lawnmower, the one that was uh, possessed. To me, it was possessed. He started grabbing the lawnmower. He turned it on. He was trying to turn on the lawnmower. And he was trying to run over. He was going to try to run over the cats. Right? So he's trying to start on the lawnmower. I seen what they had, had in their hands. They had a, what seemed to be, to me, a black magic book. And they, were, they had it open. So... I seen all this activity happening at once and I could see all this, you could say demons where they had attached themselves to my cousins. And it was just like a, like a portal opened, you know, and I could see all this, this wicked, these demons that had possessed my cousins that were, you know, at the time where everybody was a kid. So as they were doing that, I went and I ran. There was, they had a, uh, like a, a trash can that they were burning a fire. So as I, as, as I, as I seen that, I ran, I took the book and I threw it in the flame of fire. When, when that happened, that I threw the, the black magic book that they had, into the, into the, into the fire. A puff of a black smoke just came up and went up straight up in the air. Uh, when that happened, it's kind of like my cousins became normal. It's kind of like the, uh, they're like, didn't know what was going on. My cousin that had the lawnmower, he already had it on, but hadn't run over the cats. 
and uh, everybody seen them, <laughs> seen the calf with the head sticking out, and he shut off the lawnmower, and they were, and my other cousins grabbed the calf out of the holes. But I witnessed that, you know, uh, I believe, you know, as, as I'm going to take my faith and love that I was guided to do that in order for me to, to save them because only God knows what could have happened, you know, uh, if I wouldn't have done that and, 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 and thrown that, that book that they had open into the fire. I believe that the book might have belonged to one of my uncles which was their father. But I got rid of that. You know, I eliminated that spiritual threat. It's kind of like uh, my cousins, I believe the things that started happening afterwards because it could things continue to happen when when you open yourself up to something like that, things continue to happen. They were having a lot of activity at their homes, hearing noises, uh, screens from inside their homes was getting blown out where the unclean spirits were, were roaming or the demonic entities were still roaming around there causing chaos and havoc because they was trying to find a host to possess and till this day, the house there is not there no more. But I had to protect my cousins. There's no difference that when somebody messes with the Ouija board, you know, that you live in a spiritual opening and things come out through that like a portal to affect people. But I just felt that I had to share the story with you all. To let you know that no matter how uh, hot and heavy a situation gets, there's always a way out through Jesus Christ, of course, right? I didn't have the knowledge then to say I type on the rebuke of Jesus Christ thing, but I maintain my faith. I was able to grab a man-made object that was evil and I threw it into the, to the fire and burnt it, right? And which when that happened, it, uh, it freed my cousins from being spiritually attacked or free and spiritually possessed. It's kind of like uh, what I could sense is uh, the presence of the evil was there, which was really, really bad. Uh, but I was able to assist it spiritually. And this is the work that I do uh, is help out people spiritually uh, because that's what I like to do. It's help out people spiritually. Now try to reach out to people that might be on the wrong path that I see. The same thing that I see that attacked my cousins, but they got spiritually bonded or possessed. I see that in certain individuals where they're living life, they're sticking to their agenda. But I could see the unclean spirit that's within them. You know, uh, this is my calling to be fighting spiritually against the unseen forces of the disembodied demonic Nephilim, Legion, and any other things uh, that has fallen from the heavens. This is the work that I do. Uh, people ask me, are you afraid? Uh, no, I'm not afraid. The reason I'm not afraid because I know Jesus Christ is with me. 
I know Jesus Christ has my back. So when I say share a story with y'all, it's because I just want to bring awareness of the do's and the don'ts. You know, I talk about the what I win is to try to help a people, not to try to mess with something like that because you could get spiritually attacked. You know, you've seen those videos where people mess with the Ouija boards and next thing you know, something happens to somebody. In that nature, when you dabble with negativity and you're believing on what you're opening up and reading or you're believing what the board is saying, that's a spiritual attack, right? This is, this is very clear, clearly. That's a spiritual attack of what you're believing in. So if somebody says something negative towards you, towards your wife, and you're believing, not that you believe in what they're saying because you know it's not true, but you allow it to affect you in a way that you stop the path that you're on because it got to your heart, it got to your mind. That right there, when somebody wishes something bad upon you, there's no difference that the book that I throw in the fire, there's no difference than when somebody misses with an Ouija board because that person is the object. That person is, is the Ouija board, is the dark magic because of what they, they tamper with, what they, what they worship. So they use themselves as that, as those objects that I spoke of to affect you, which in actuality, when somebody says bad, something bad about, to you, about you, that's not true. They're actually wishing that what they're saying, they're trying to get you to visualize that. So it can affect you spiritually. Basically what I'm saying is they're wishing bad upon you. It's like a form of, it's like witchcraft. That's exactly what they're doing. We should bet something bad upon you. So, if you accept it by not defending yourself and coming up against it through Jesus Christ, and you, ex you accept that, then it's within you, and you have to fight back. So, this is what I say to you. Tie, bind, and rebuke it in Jesus Christ's name. That negativity that somebody wished bad upon you. Tie, bind, and rebuke it through Jesus Christ. And it will go back to the sender. Don't accept it. Don't accept it. Send it back to the sender. That's all I'm saying right now. Uh, you know, I have a lot of friends that are that are fighting spiritually. That have been fighting spiritually. And that's why I'm sending the message right now. So, a matter of fact, before I go, because it was just a short story, we're going to pray against this uh, dark energies or people that wish bad upon somebody. And then, Father, at this time, I would like to tie upon rebuke any negative energies, unclean spirits, demonic spirits, people messing with witchcraft and orcromancy. Anybody wish bad, uh, bad upon me? Among anybody that wish bad upon my my friends, family. At this time, we're taking authority over anything that's unclean. We tie by the rebuke. Anything we wish bad upon us or anything trying to affect us spiritually, we're taking authority over you through Jesus Christ's name. 
We tie by the rebuke you in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Never give up on your faith, brothers and sisters. Continue the good spiritual fight. The way we fight spiritually is by maintaining the love foundation. Forgiveness is part of the love foundation. I can forgive the individuals that come up against me in a negative way, which I've done. But just because I forgive them doesn't mean that they're going to change their ways. But I forgive them because I have to maintain the love foundation. I can pray for somebody to change their ways, but it's a personal choice of that individual to change their ways. If they don't want to change their ways, it's because that's what they're about. So I can only do so much. But at the same time, I can see spiritually within that individual because if they have a negative attachment or they're being bonded or something unclean, through spiritual law, what's within there has to identify itself to me, in which it always does. So that's how I know what's within an individual. That's how I know what's within somebody that's claiming to be a certain way, but it's completely the opposite. Because I can see what's within them spiritually. And that is through the spiritual gifts of discernment. But anyways, good night and God bless you and your family members. Don't forget to always say, I love you to your loved ones. How are you doing, Sister Barb? This is a late night video. I just finished the story and I was fixing to leave. But you want to watch a replay? You're more than welcome. Uh, you have a beautiful good morning and a beautiful day. Peace.